Hello and welcome to the quick and dirty Google Drive tutorial. So in this quick video today, we are just going to cover the basics of how to use Google Drive and get the most out of it. So we'll go over setting up your new account, how to create folders, documents, and spreadsheets, sharing and tagging, and then editing and collaborating in different modes uh, within Google Docs. So let's get started. Okay, so as you can see here, we have a brand new, fresh Google Drive account set up. Um, and all this is is your Google account. So if you use other Google services like Gmail or YouTube, um, if your YouTube account is linked, then this is all going to be in the same place. To access Google Drive, as you can see, we're here, but let's just go to Google. There are a couple ways to do it. You see this square up here um, in the corner, you're gonna click on that and then find Google Drive and click to get here. Or you can go um, up here and you can actually just type in drive.google.com. So it's really important to do this so you're actually in Google Drive. If you've had some experience with Drive before, um, you may have clicked on an email that you got with an invitation to view a document um, and your screen would look a little bit different. You, so there are options in the sidebar that you see right here, my drive, shared with me, photos, recent, start and trash. You wouldn't see that um, unless you're actually in this view. So let's go ahead and get started. This is a brand new account and um, in every account we have this pretty handy PDF that Google provides that also gives you a great uh, overview of how to use it. But if you're like me, you like getting a visual breakdown of everything that is happening. So um, if you do need to come back and take a look again, just know that this PDF is gonna be here and it's gonna be available for you. So part two, which is the most fun in my opinion, is creating folders, documents, and spreadsheets. Um, so all we're gonna do for each one of those things is go over to this red button, click new, and then we have a menu that gives us different options. So let's start with a folder. I'm gonna call it my stuff. Hit create. Uh, and then it's done. You see my stuff that already appeared right here um, in your Google Drive view. And now I'm going to create a document. And so we click the new button again and we just go down and we select docs and it's as easy as that. Um, you'll notice that these always open up in a new tab. So um, if, if you feel like you don't know where you are, just know that there's another tab open and you can always click back and get back into that that drive view. So this document, I'm going to title it my stuff. And then I can just start typing whatever I want down here. Um, the, the best part about using Google Docs is that everything happens in real time. Um, and it's very simple to use. It's just a lot like using Microsoft Word, except it's in the cloud. Okay, when you shut, when you close this tab, of the new doc that you opened, it's been automatically saved. And now it appears right here as a doc. So I can click to open this back up and everything that I just entered is going to be, have been auto saved in the document. Um, same thing with the spreadsheet. So I'm gonna click new, go to Google Sheets and create a spreadsheet. And the Google Sheets functions a lot like um, Microsoft Excel. So it's not the same, it's not gonna be the exact same functionalities, but it's a lighter version. Um, and I find that it's incredibly convenient to use, especially when you're creating a spreadsheet that needs to be shared with other collaborators. It's easy to do it in Drive. So same thing, when you close this tab, you won't have lost your information. Your spreadsheet shows up right here. Um, you can double click to select and open that spreadsheet and then close it again. So you may have noticed there are other options aside from just um, Google Sheets and Google Docs. You can create slides and then there are some other fun options as well. Um, and you can definitely explore those later. So the other thing that you can do is upload um, an existing file if you don't want to create a new one. Um, you do get 15 gigs of free storage with your Google account. So if you want to store 
photos, um, other documents, videos, you can upload those directly from um, your desktop or other files. And you do that by selecting um, file upload for a single file, or if it's a whole entire folder, select folder upload, and you'll be prompted through the process. Okay, so that is setting up and creating folders, docs, and spreadsheets. Okay, so the next topic is going to be sharing and tagging. Um, this is a really important feature when it comes to using Google Drive because one of the most um, important elements of being able to use Google Drive is the ability to uh, communicate and share information with other collaborators. So let's just, to clean this up, just click and drag um, the spreadsheet and the document that we created into um, the folder. And I want to share this entire folder with a colleague of mine because we're collaborating on a spreadsheet and maybe we're writing some, uh, some copy in the document as well that we both need to look at and edit. So I've selected this folder. You can see I'm deselecting it by clicking somewhere else and I'm selecting it by, by clicking here again. I'm going to go up and find this little avatar of the person with the plus sign, click on it, and now I'm able to share. So um, I'm going to just go ahead and share it with myself here. You can add a note down here, um, and then you also have the option to say, do you want your collaborator to be able to edit the document or just view? Okay, um, I'm gonna say let them edit and then send. So now I will have an email in that, um, in my inbox inviting me to uh, come and collaborate on this entire folder. Um, so there's another option for sharing. So we're going to select the folder again, go up to the avatar, but this time I'm going to click on uh, get shareable link. Okay. And click to copy the link. And now whoever I share the link with can view. They won't be able to edit if they're just clicking from the link because of the current settings but I can at any time just go in here, click the button, and now I can change it um, so that anyone with the link can edit. And you can explore those options a little bit further if you ever need to customize it. If I go down here and click advanced, um, then it gives me even more sharing options. But this is going to be one of the most important features as you're getting used to collaborating um, in Google Drive, it can be a little bit confusing if you're not aware of all of these options just because some of the sharing menu is hidden when you first click. Um, but again, if you're sharing a document that someone else needs to access and be able to edit, um, make sure that the setting, in this setting you have, yeah, you have it set so that anyone uh, with the link has access and can edit. This is going to be the same if you're sharing a spreadsheet, if you're sharing a document, if you're sharing a folder, or if you have a folder with um, multiple different documents and you only want to share one of them, you can open it up and go in here and let's just say we want to share the document. Do go through the same process, but right now you're only, you only have the one document selected. So, um, sometimes people will bump into trouble if they have shared both the folder and a document um, or a spreadsheet within a folder and they have different permissions in terms of sharing. So let's say the folder that has been shared has view only access, but a document within the folder um, has access to edit. So if you do find that you've shared something and think that um, it should be accessible and then you hear back from a colleague that they can't get into it just be sure to go check on um, what the folder settings are versus the individual um, document settings okay so in this next section we are going to discover how to edit and collaborate within a Google Doc using different modes and we'll also go over how to leave and respond to comments and how to tag collaborators um, in those comments as well. So right here I have a Google Doc opened um, and just some text in here to represent a blog post that someone has written and I want to share it with a collaborator to get their feedback and get their edits. So if I haven't already shared the document with them um, using the methods that I shared in that last section, you can always go up here within the doc and go through the same process from directly within the doc. Um, so 
let's just try that one more time just in case. So we're going to share this with another colleague. Okay, he has the ability to edit and so now he's going to be able to click in here. Um, so let's say I have a question about the second paragraph. I'd like David to take a look at it. So I'm just going to highlight the text that I have a question about and go up here and click comments and then leave a comment here. Okay, and click comment and then that's done. So um, now when David clicks in uh, to this post to take a look at it, he is going to be able to see the highlighted text, he's going to see my comment, and then he can respond. Um, or he can, he can resolve the comment if he thinks it looks great. Um, so let's try this with another piece of copy. I'm going to highlight the section, select comments. Um, can you work on this a bit more? Okay, but instead of putting his name here, maybe I want to actually tag him. So I'm going to go and select the plus button and then type in the user's email. Okay, and then when I leave the comment, you can see that this is uh, now hyperlinked. So he's going to actually get a notification that he's been tagged. Um, so this is just another way to notify um, a collaborator of a specific point that you'd like uh, to make. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. Now let's say that I've written this and now David's gonna come in and he's gonna take a look and make some suggestions based on my comments uh, to this blog post. So he's gonna go up here and where you see the little pencil, um, select it and you can switch. Right now we're in editing mode where we're editing the document directly. Any change that I make is just gonna appear as though I was working on um, a brand new document in say Microsoft Word or Pages. Um, so he's gonna change this to suggesting and now I'll start to make edits. So let's say I'm gonna highlight this and delete it. This shows up as a suggestion, okay? And then maybe we're gonna add a conclusion here at the bottom and add some more copy down here. This shows up in green, so it's a different color. Um, and then there's also tracking that appears off to the side as though it's a comment, so that when a collaborator comes in here, they can see what's been added, what's been deleted, like it has been up here, or suggestions for replacing text. Um, and then they can come right in and they can either reject it by um, clicking the X or accepting it by hitting the check mark. And then as soon as someone hits the check mark, it, be, it shows up as permanent regular text. Okay, so let's reject this change, reject that change. Um, and then when that's been completed, you can always switch right back to editing mode. Go down here to the comment. Looks great, hit reply, and then resolve, and it goes away. So um, as you can see, it's super easy to collaborate um, with other people inside of Google Drive as long as you just know a little bit um, about how the functionality works and what you can do. Okay, and so we'll wrap up in the next section with just a couple of quick tips and tricks about using Google Drive and then you're gonna be ready to go. Okay, so let's wrap up with a couple of miscellaneous fun tips about how to get the most out of using Google Drive. Um, so we'll start with just putting things in the trash. So I've read my manual and I feel comfortable um, in understanding how to use Google Drive. So I'm just gonna click and drag this into the trash, okay? That's one way to do it. Now I'm gonna click undo to restore it. And another thing that I can do is click on this file and I can go up here to this trash can and I can remove it that way. Okay, and then another thing that I can do is click to select it. Um, and I can reorganize it. So I can choose to move this to another folder, okay? And then it's been automatically moved. And then another way to move it is click the file, drag it into the folder. And yet another way to do this is to go up to my drive. There's a little drop down menu where you're gonna see all of the other folders you've created. I can go ahead and click and drag it into the sidebar from there. 
Okay. And so the other, the other time that you might want to do this is when you have a collaborator who has uh, shared files or folders with you. If you go to your Google, to your Google Drive um, dashboard, I suppose is what this view is is most like, and you don't see the file that's been shared with you, it's probably because it's in here, shared with me. So select that. Um, and if you have any folders in here, you will just select them and click and drag them and drop them into my drive. That way next time you come in, you'll see them here with all of your other stuff. Okay, so if you do delete something and then panic and, and need to recover that, just click into your trash, it'll be there. And you can again, you can restore it by clicking up here. You can choose to delete it forever to free up uh, more space if you're running out of space. Or just click, oops, oh, we can't do that. So yeah, click restore and then it's gonna come right back up here and you're gonna see it inside the folder that it was initially moved from. Okay, so another fun thing to do that helps some, some of us who are more, much more visual than others to organize in Google Drive is by color coding everything. So to color code a folder, you're just gonna select it like I just did, and then find this kind of hidden menu over here where you have a lot of fun actions, select it, and then you can come here, you can change the color. Um, okay, and then a few other options in this menu um, include renaming it, and of course, organizing. And so that's about it. Um, with all of these tips and techniques, you're completely ready to go to start using uh, Google Drive. And again, if you have any outstanding questions or anything's not making sense to you, just refer to this getting started guide that will automatically be in your account when you get started. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoy using Drive.